Hey guys, this is Adrian in from Modio, and today we're starting a completely new series on the basics of Adobe After Effects. In this episode, we're going to be covering creating new compositions, importing assets, creating new layers, and applying effects. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do in any After Effects project is create a new composition. This is going to be your foundational canvas for anything that you're creating. So to start one, go to the top bar and click Composition and click New Composition. And here's where you're gonna to need to input some basic information about your project. First, you can name it, and setting your resolution. Right now it's set at a standard 720p resolution. Yours might be different, but for learning, this isn't necessarily important, but every project that you work on will most likely be a little bit different. So you're gonna to wanna to know what settings you need to apply here. For now, just go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see we have a new window with a transparent background, a new composition in our project window. And down here is where layers will go that we're working with to create all of the visual magic in this window here. So let's go ahead and import some assets to work with. To do that, just select your project window, right click, import, file. Now After Effects can handle all sorts of files, including image sequences, just regular images, video files, almost anything that you can throw at it. Now you can just select a single file, you can hold shift and select several files, or you can just click open and After Effects will import the entire folder. Another easy way to import is to simply select your files and drag them into your project window. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those. Now select one of the assets that you've imported and drag it into your composition work area. You can also select an asset and drag it into your composition window. Now each asset that you import is gonna have its own properties that you can manipulate. So click on this small arrow on one of your layers, twirl it down, and twirl down the transform properties. Now each layer is gonna have a basic set of properties like this anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. And to adjust it, just simply click on a number, hold, and drag. This is how you can adjust its positioning, make it bigger or smaller, rotate it, and change the transparency. You can also easily access these properties with shortcuts. For position, it's P. For scale, it's S. For rotation, it's R, and for opacity, it's T. And that's an easy way to access all those attributes quickly and effectively. You can also create assets right inside of After Effects. To do that, head up to the top bar, click Layer, New, and Solid. And here you have the chance to name it, change the size, make it your original comp size, and adjust the color and click OK. So now you notice we have a new solid. It's showed up in our project panel and we can adjust it in the same way as our other assets. Now as a quick tip, in case you get a layer and it's maneuvered and resized and you want it to be full screen again, there's a quick shortcut for that. And on Mac, it's Option Command F. On Windows, it's Control Alt F. And that'll bring your layer back to full screen. Now applying effects to a layer is very simple as well. Just simply select the one you want and head up to Effect. And you'll notice that After Effects has all sorts of built-in effects. Go ahead and try Generate Four Color Gradient. And you'll notice right away we get a very interesting look that you can customize and edit as you see fit. Now this will be a fun time for you to go through all the effects and see what they can do. But just a warning, not all of them will have immediate results like this because they'll need to be applied under special circumstances. But we'll talk about that more later. So guys, that's the quick overview of getting started with After Effects. Now join us next time in episode two where we'll talk about text formatting and design. 